California, Los Angeles, Pasadena. That's where I am in Pasadena, walking in the neighborhood. Very nice. Very nice neighborhood. No homeless people here. But there is a problem with homeless, uh, obviously, in uh, the city of Los Angeles. But not here in Pasadena, luckily. These are preparations for Halloween, which is in a few days. I'm going to Old Town, Pasadena now. It's around four kilometers from here, along Colorado Boulevard. There are buses though, maybe I take a bus, I will see. But it's a nice walk, especially on a sunny day like this. First night it was raining. I was leaving Mexico, it was a bit complicated due to the flights and the uncertainty if they let me cross the border from Tijuana. I had to change a flight because it was not possible on foot to cross the border. So I had to take a direct flight to Los Angeles from uh, Puerto Vallarta on the same day. It was a bit of a hustle. Now I'm here and I'm very happy. I will stay here a little longer. This is now Colorado Boulevard leading to Pasadena Old Town. the back of me you see the uh, mountain range. I'm gonna get a rental car at some point. I might be going to Joshua Tree National Park which is around two hours drive from here. High desert. It has these uh, Joshua trees. This is a certain kind of tree that grows there. It's very lovely. You can drive through the desert in a day and come back. is the architecture. Palm Springs is quite famous. Many people have houses to stay over the winter when it's colder here. They go to Palm Springs, which is directly in the desert. It never really rains there or gets cold. That's on the way to Joshua Tree. Here you have a better look on the mountain rains. Another thing I want to see, Griffith Park with the observatory right next to Los Feliz, which is East Hollywood. There must be a bus up there. Apparently the observatory is open again. It was closed for a while because of COVID. This is a very lovely place to look over Los Angeles from above. And it's also very famous, featured in many films like Terminator. Los Angeles is all about cars and driving because the distances are very large, really huge, a huge area. They also have a very developed um, public transport system. The buses, partially, you don't even have to pay for the buses. They are free. It's very well connected. From here, you have Allen Avenue. There's a metro station 
a little bit out, you can go all the way to downtown Union Station. Union Station is the central hub where you can basically take buses, other metro lines, anywhere in the city. This is Allen. Already a good neighborhood, but if you go down there, a little further down south, there's San Marino, which is a really rich neighborhood. Nice houses. Yeah, it's a bit like Beverly Hills. There's also the Huntington Library. It's a park, not only library, it's so many buildings, but it's more like a botanical garden. I may make a separate video or part of a video for that. This is where the free buses go from here. These metro buses. They go from here, City College, to Old Town. Colorado is a very long, streets are very long here. This is City College. So I continue walking. I could take the bus, but uh, it's such a nice day. I continue walking towards Old Town, Pasadena. Another thing here in Los Angeles is uh, many cinemas. Here is the Academy Cinema. It's one of a chain here. Very low budget. This is one of the cultural things you need to see here in Los Angeles. There are many different cinemas. The cinema itself, it's uh, an experience. In Los Feliz, there's very ancient cinemas. Really pretty. There's another one here. This is certainly a part of lifestyle, the, the culture here. So you should not miss visiting at least one of those cinemas if you like movies of course here in Pasadena there are also many older buildings very sturdy old stone buildings like this one A Lake Colorado crossing it's kind of the banking area high-rise buildings
at this corner there was an old building here it was demolished six years ago they haven't finished the new building yet they're still working on it this is about the only building i know that has been replaced at the corner there, it's gone now. This is uh, Paseo Shopping Center. There is the Arclight Cinema. This is another chain. But it's a modern chain, it's normal. Normal cinemas, nothing special. What's interesting, really ancient cinemas from the 30s, 40s. There are still plenty of them in Hollywood, Sunset or Hollywood Boulevard, but also Los Feliz East Hollywood as well. City Hall. I didn't get the phrase City Hall. I'm approaching Old Town now, even though you could say the City Hall here is already part of it, but the actual Old Town street goes a little down. You could say there is the beginning of Old Town, Pasadena. In Old Town there are many brick buildings. You don't see them so much in other parts. There's a history to it. Nice place to be. So here's the crossing. And then there, this is where Old Town actually begins. There's a sign about Old Town listed in the National Register of Historic Places. And there are a few very nice trees. So I enter Old Town Pasadena now. You already see the first ones of the brick buildings, they are all made of bricks. Those beige or 
red brown bricks and usually the houses are not very high it's uh, two stories that's it shops are still closed it's before 10 o'clock so they open at 10 it's in a few minutes they will open That's the end of it, Old Town finished. There's a bridge highway down there, that's not a river, it's a highway. A lot of job offers here. The shops are looking for workers. Over there, there's a courtyard with another cinema. Now it's called IPIC Cinemas. This was exclusive cinema, where the tickets cost double the usual price. I have never been there, but an example of American culture, you have very cheap things, and you have very expensive things. You can choose whatever you like. I'm not sure what's so special about this one, but it's much more expensive than the normal cinemas. Behind me is the Apple store. There's already a line waiting to open in two minutes. Here's Tiffany's. This is the stretch, maybe one, one and a half kilometers, Old Town, Pasadena. There are a few buildings back in the back and in the front.
I'm going into the Apple Store now. One minute left. This is the cinema, as I mentioned before. Plaza behind, right behind uh, Colorado, Old Town. Halloween. the cake and ice cream area. You can eat a lot of sugar here if you like. This is one of the few crossings I have seen where you can cross diagonal as a pedestrian across the street. I've seen this in New Zealand, but uh, not anywhere else. You don't see it very often. Here's a little park. It's called Memorial Park. Populated with squirrels. <laughs> they are not afraid, they are quite brave creatures. <laughs> and there in the back again, you see the hills. Pavilion for the performing arts in Pasadena. So heading back for Colorado again. Uh, here's an interesting thing, that's the Metro Line Memorial Park. It goes all the way to Union Station. Union Station you can find all sorts of transport anywhere in Los Angeles. And outside Los Angeles, of course. Here's a map. And here's the city hall again.
Okay, battery's gone. This is a playhouse cinema, but there in the back it seems to be another playhouse. The whole area is playhouse. Battery's gone. Wrap it up now for today. This was my video about Pasadena. Thank you for watching. Tune in for more videos on Los Angeles.